Hello and welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this cute little hamster. It's a dwarf hamster, and I wanted to do something in carded wool, like make fur out of carded wool. And so I attempted that. It's got really tiny hands and feet. So let's get started. So I rolled some furry tail slivers into a ball. Not exactly a ball, it's a bit of an oval shape. That is going to be the body. And felt it well. And then you have to add fur to the to your piece. It's it has to be quite firm. So this is the shape of the body and have to attach and the head to it. Now for the head, I'm using a bamboo pencil. Uh, you can use anything that has a pointy end. And just wrap the bundle around it because we need to have a pointy head. This is going to be the muzzle of the mouse. So it's easier for you to shape it right from the beginning. So it's sort of a cone. And that's going to be the nose of the muzzle. I really need a small one because I'm making a dwarf hamster and it's quite small. So I'm taking some wool off and I'm, I'm going to attach it to the body and then I'm going to firm it up. I'm shaping the body as I'm firming it up so it's all one piece now I have to add the eyes and firm up the face my needle I'm shaping the nose and where the eyes are going to be so it's going to have a shape as I keep building it to the body so I think it's just a bit too small and the head seems bigger so I'm adding more wool and I'm taking it a bit down so it's a bit more elongated than it was before so there's more wool at the bottom now I'm going to attach the eyes making holes with my scissor just going to put push in the plastic eyes and glue them. After the eyes, I'm adding more wool to the head as well, making it a bit rounder. It's the and you're making takes shape then you know where you need to add more wool in this case I need some more on the cheeks around the eyes and the head so I'm just shaping it You 
can keep adding little bits of whatever you think are necessary I'm adding some more around the eyes so they don't seem to be popping out of the head just little bits right around the plastic eyes So now we have to make really tiny hands and I'm using a floristry wire that's 29 or 28 gauge. It's really soft and easy to handle. And these toes I've, I've just bended over the edges of them and haven't twisted them all the length back like I did in my previous videos. I think for the mouse. I twisted the fingers, uh, the wire, all, all through the length of the finger. But in this one, I'm just bending over the edge, the pointy edge, and just pinching it down. You can use a plier if you want, but the wire is really soft. You don't need pliers. I'm making two toes, no, oh, sorry, fingers, and bending over the edge then I'm going to make two more and attach them just by wrapping the rest of the wire around giving them the shape of a tiny hand with four fingers these are two fingers done I'm going to bend Two more toes around the same length and just bend down the edge so you don't get a pointy end and please don't mind my fingers I've got a bad case of eczema and the allergy has just flared up and it has affected my fingertips they've gone really dark and rough but you can't stop working can you So I'm twisting the rest of the wire just in the middle of the two toes, two fingers, sorry. Place them together, all four, and now I know where I have to turn the wire to fix them in position. I've placed them all together. I'm going to twist the wire just right in the middle to form a little tiny hand. I'm going to give it another twist. So all the fingers are attached. and I've got a tiny hand it's really minute now this is the tricky part where you have to attach the wool to it so just take a little very tiny strand of pink and keep twisting it around the very tiny fingers so this is going to take some time and it is very tricky I must warn you for that because <laughs> the first time I did it it took me hours to do one hand but keep doing it you get used to it and you know how to twist the wool around the wire and make sure it sticks Can 
then you use your needle where you think it's necessary just to felt it down I'm using the, the smallest needle I've got it's a twisted uh, light blue I've forgotten the gauge so you get tiny hands you have to work hard on this part And just wrap the extra wool around. With both arms ready, I've just put them inside the body. Just inserted them because this wire it goes easily inside the wool. So I just put some glue on it. And just inserted them and then I'm going to wrap some more wool around the arms just to secure them in place and so they have a little bit of flesh they're shaping the arms Now I'm not going to use wire for the feet, so I'm using my toothpick to make tiny toes and just wrap some wool around your toothpick, take it off and felt it down and that makes tiny toe. So I've made three toes and wrapped them around with the extra wool. And there you've got yourself a tiny foot. I think it's easier than handling the wire. So my tiny hamster has both wireless feet and arms with the thinnest wire. I'm just shaping them. And they will go to the bottom of the body and just stabbing them down now I'm going to attach some pink color for the nose so all the pink parts are done There, I'm shaping it with my needle. Now I'm going to give it fur using carded wool. So I'm starting off with the tip of the nose and I'm using a bit of a grey tone. So I just want a little bit of shade just right next to the nose and I'm attaching it just as I you would attach any other fur just stab right in the middle fold it over and stab again and make sure it's securely in place so adding fur is takes the longest time and it's fun but it's really time consuming so I'm going to fast forward and attach all the fur because it's going to take long so I'm just going in lines and making sure there's no space left they're right in the middle you have to go with the shape of the face so this goes sideways because around the mouth the fur goes with the shape of the face. So you have to attach the fur accordingly. So with more fur attached to the muzzle, I'm now taking some dark grey and going around the eyes. So 
so it seems to have eyelids now just around the plastic eyes going to do the same on this side and taking some bite for the lower part of the mouth and I'm going to add bite for to the front you have to cut the extra fur to give it shape and this is the fun part and it's tricky and crucial you don't spoil it because it takes hours attaching the fur and then if you make a wrong cut it's gonna look weird so take your time while you're cutting it off so the front part is done the cutting remains and you have to go with the shape of the animal as the head was done i remembered the ears so i'm using a felted sheet and i'm going to draw roughly the size i need just write about it and going to make two of them just fold them over and stab them in place it has some pencil marks so I thought I should erase the pencil marks and attach it again so you just have to fold it and stab it down in place So I've attached fur to the whole body and just cutting around the eyes carefully just to shape it up and I uh, wanted to use carded wool for the fur and it's really e easy to handle and turns out really good but still want to do a small animal that does not look fluffy and I still don't know how to do that so if somebody can help me out please let me know I'm just felting really slightly around the eyes just to giving it shape not stabbing too hard but very lightly so the shape comes out I'm using my needle very lightly Now I'm attaching some more white to the lower part of the mouth as the nose seemed to be the tongue sticking out so I thought I should give it a mouth underneath and just shaping it with my needle. It's all done now, brushing it up and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.